You ever have trouble making up your mind to do something? Well, here's something really easy to do. Make up your mind to be happy. Can you do that? Oh, we'll tell you how. I had a neighbor who uh, lived right next door, next door neighbor, that I could hear every single morning whistling. Winter, spring, summer, fall, all you got to do. That's James Taylor. Yeah, I didn't whistle that one. This though. guy's name was Fred, still is, he's still alive, but whistling, and, and I'm telling you, this was, we lived next to him for nine years, and this was one of these people who would whistle no matter what. I knew some of the things that were going on in his life. I knew some of the issues, some of the challenges, some of the familial discord, maybe not discord so much, but just challenges, mistakes, and things that had happened to this family. So what you're saying is he made up his mind regardless of what was going on in his life, to be happy. Happiness is a state of mind. And really, that's kind of the underlying principle behind all of these videos that Jeff and I make about mm -hmm. how to be happy and the seven ups of happiness. And today's episode is about making up your mind. Yeah. It's in your head, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, no, no matter what you're going through, you know, whether it's something minor or something large, in large respect, it's just, look, whatever's happening, I'm going to make my mind up to be happy. Yeah. I mean, you can do certain things to kind of keep a positive attitude. That's the Here key. we are, by the way, uh, in this beautiful theater in the round, with, I'm thinking close to a thousand seats, all of them empty, which, which probably is really quite apropos given the subject on yeah. the stage which is uh, the Scott and Jeff Seven Ups yeah. of Happiness. You know, we did invite an audience. and uh, Yeah, they made up their mind not to be Sharon. here. Sharon. Yeah. Hi, There's Sharon. Sharon up there. There she is. <laughs> Take a look at Sharon. Can you see her? There's Sharon over there. Woo! <laughs> see how happy Sharon is? <laughs> Sharon's happy because she's opened up the theater for us to come in here yeah. and shoot, and she probably didn't want to do that. I'm just kidding. No, just, <laughs> they're very, very happy people here. But the point is, is that happiness really is a state of mind because you can choose happiness. Now, I know that we have no shortage of people watching who absolutely are giving an amen. And if you are, remember to like the video at some point here, right? Maybe even share it. But singing, mm -hmm. singing a happy song, whistling a happy tune, smiling. Yep. Smiling has been proven just, just the endorphins that go as the muscles that make up your smile start to constrict and, and move, endorphins are sent to the brain. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and try it. Of course, that's smiling, but it also goes without mentioning that laughing. And I've got I, my, well, that's my the wife, natural extension. Yeah, my wife will attest to this. Uh, it's I laugh at some of the stupidest things, but it's the way that I laugh. I will be sitting there with my little seven-year-old daughter. Hi, Sydney, and we'll be watching a video, and I'll just, ha ha, that's my laugh. And my wife, it'll make my wife laugh, and then pretty soon everybody's laughing. But I will just, I'll be driving in the car all by myself, and I'll see a stupid billboard. Ha ha. And I, I don't know. It's well, what is, who's, where does that laugh come I from? I have no idea. I think it comes from somebody. I think it comes from Charles Lynn Frost. It's an old, yeah. old drama teacher of yeah. ours. We <laughs> would, oh, we would be doing a scene together in high school and it, it's all dark. We couldn't see anything, but we would hear that laugh ah! yeah. in the back. Oh Just my gosh. One laugh in the back row. Cause you know, all directors sit on the back row cause they figure, you know, if your voice is carrying back here, it doesn't have to go any further, but it at least has to, you know, project yeah. know, or whatever. Yeah. But, <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's kind of a Pee Wee Herman sort of so idea. yeah so just laugh start laughing out loud and don't care what anybody else thinks right unless you're you know in church that might not be good and music is a really oh, really quick man. way to it's like what I would call a, a quick upper as it were to oh, get yourself man. happy quickly let's face it the power of music especially positive music but also negative music mm -hmm. I mean you can be in a really great mood Let's say you're already having a good day and you hear a song that reminds you of a really bad breakup. Like the Macarena. Or, really t or a really tender time in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all oh, of a sudden it's... you've manufactured an emotion that you really weren't experiencing before the song came on. Mm -hmm. Can ruin your day. So the converse is true, which is if you want to be happy and get picked up, deliberately make your playlist, obviously, out of songs that do that to you. Now, yeah. our top three. That's what we're going to do today to I've finish up like this one. I've got like four. All right, well, give me some. I've got four. And this is These the, are the top songs that, that raise our spirits just boop, boop, boop. So, happy. Steve Winwood. Oh, really? Right? You, uh, you know the ones? Are you going while you see a chance? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's on my list. Is it really? We, we don't share the lists. No, we don't. That's right there. While you me. see a chance, take it. Steve Winwood. Again, Spotify it. Just listen to it. It is such an uplifting, cool song. Yeah. From the very opening strain whop, of that. Whop, whop, whop. Oh, yeah. It has that soft, warm, whop, whop, fat organ. Oh, oh yeah. Great song. Stand up. 
up in a clear. Anyway, all right. yeah, we all know what it is. If you right. don't, like he says, look it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else did I have? Oh, I had, there's one song that's kind of uh, a little bit, not obscure, but it's yeah. a Mike and the Mechanics song. Oh, I know it. I know it. I don't think you know this one because oh, really? they have a lot of really uplifting yeah. ones, but this one's called Beggar on a Beach of Gold. Okay, I know it. Yeah. Just look it up. But the title yeah. itself is about a guy who, who, you know, he's sitting on a beach of gold and he's still complaining about all the things that he doesn't have yeah. that other people have. And then at the end, it brings it all around to the most important thing to him is his family and his children. Ooh. Yeah. That's good. See, now that's, good that's stuff. emotional, but it's positive for yeah, me. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, what else do you got? All right, so I'm going to shift now. Not so emotional, but this is just Jump, to get Van pumped Halen. up. No, 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 oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, kind of, but Iggy Pop, Lust for Life. I mean, it's, you know, it's Jim Rome's. Oh, okay. I tell you, so I used to listen to that song a lot before I'd get, you know, in front of a big crowd or a stage or whatever, just to get pumped up. So yeah. just a great, great song. That's, That's one, one of mine. Yeah. Uh, one of my, and then my other one that I have that I was just reminded of is Let the Day Begin. By? It's The Call. Ooh. You know that song? I know the call. Here's to the baby, here's to the baby, whatever it is. Hey, shake it Here's to you, my little love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the day begin. It's just a good, it's got a big, it's rousing, it wakes you up, it keeps you happy. If you can somehow manage to eliminate the downer negative songs that keep you low and help you manufacture these depressive thoughts, if you really want to be happy, put the happy ones on. Yeah. Instant uppers, they work right away. Oh, yeah. Put a uh, smile on your face. Did we get all of yours? You uh, no, I, got, I see I got a bunch coming to me now. Walking on Sunshine. Oh, uh, okay. No? Yeah? Well, I mean, I, I get where you're going. That's a good one. But, uh, Katrina? Katrina, yeah. And but the she's. Waves? Okay, here's, here's my favorite one by Might far. Might as well go with the Go Go's. Yeah, yeah. here's. here's I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a replacement, <laughs> all right? Todd Rundgren, Bang the Drum. Get it on, bang a gun. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Nah, don't want to work. Oh, that's the that one. Bang, bang on, on the, the drum, drum all day. day. Again, <laughs> this is just get the blood pumping, <laughs> right. you know, good workout type yeah. of a music. Yeah. It, it'll just change the way you think. Because honestly, you could be going through practically anything. But happiness is a choice that you make sometimes by even deliberately uh, manipulating your own t- temporary happiness. Mm-hmm. And then ultimately we get into more permanent states of happiness. That's for another episode. That's all I'm saying. But for now, just choose to be happy today. Smile right now and watch what it does. Don't look at him smiling. That won't make you happy at all. Well, I don't know if our rambling here on the stage has been of any service to you at all. But if it has, please remember to like and subscribe to our uh, our channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell a friend while you're at it. And remember, choose to be happy today. Laugh a lot. Smile a lot.